All right. So let's talk about you. Um, we talked a couple months ago, and I knew that when I talked to you the first time that you were, it was pretty brand new to you. You had been doing this for a little while, but it was pretty brand new and, and more good was, was going to come from it. So can you start by just um, giving us a recap and telling us how long you've been eating whole food plant-based and just kind of a quick backstory? Okay, July 5th, uh, we actually officially downloaded your meal plan for the first time and batched and I don't know what day of the week it was, but we got organized now where we shop Friday, we batch Saturday, uh-huh. and we start our meal plan on Sunday. We go through Sunday through Thursday. Uh-huh. My highest weight prior to starting, I was at 270, uh-huh. 274. And I was around 148 something, 150, 150 or 250 rather, at uh, the day we started, July 5th. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was Pretty much, cons- I, well, I dropped 10 pounds right off the get-go, mm-hmm. like 10, 10 days. Mm-hmm. And um, then it was real, real progressive, a pound a week. Mm-hmm. Almost like you could set your clock by it. Then when I hit 210, about the time we did our, our last Skype, mm-hmm. that was about 210, 209, I think. And I was still going down, but it, it kind of stalled at 201. Uh-huh. And then, I'm going to blame it on you. You can't be me. <laughs> you came out with the Easter week menu, and then the Farva menu, and then the street food. And oh my God, that street food. <laughs> and I know they say you don't have to watch what you eat. You don't have to count calories or any of that. But you can't eat five pounds of food and expect to lose weight. And I've right. been eating. I mean, I was. I've been eating too much food. So we always try to have dinner finished at eight. We we go to bed late. Mm-hmm. So we would make an every attempt to have <clears throat> dinner done and the kitchen cleaned by eight o'clock. And then if we go to bed at two, you know that six hours, and then. And and not, not eat anything or drink anything after eight o'clock at mm-hmm, night, mm-hmm. and then I wouldn't have anything to eat until nine o'clock, at least nine o'clock the following morning, mm-hmm. sometimes ten, mm-hmm. and that was doing pretty good mm-hmm. until. Well, you can't eat five pounds of food and expect to lose weight. Correct. So yes. <laughs> what we're, so, what is your current weight? One two oh one this morning. Okay. Well here's the thing. I mean, you say, Oh, those those meals were so good and I'm eating like crazy, but you're still at two oh one. Yeah. <laughs> it oh, hasn't gone oh, up. Oh, I, oh no, 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 no. I'm, that's a pretty cat. Poor cat oh, people. Yeah, sweet that's sweet pea. She she always needs to make an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> so you're eating awesome food, you're at two oh one. You yeah, and if you want to keep going, like your your body, you know, it's so funny because it's so often that when people start this, it's like they 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 lose a lot really quick because their body's like it's brand new, and then they'll find that they'll plateau a little bit, and then they'll you know lose a little bit more, and then it might plateau a little bit, and it just kind of goes like that the the longer you do it. And so, um, I think that you are definitely on the right track. Keep doing what you're doing and play around with it because we have to make this like our own and we have to find oh. our our rhythm and our groove with it and 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 as we go through this it's like such a lifestyle change that we do we figure out what feels best for us so you're that's yeah. that's wonderful so so it was july so um okay so it'll be your one year july 5th um yeah. okay so tell me what what you've learned what's happened what's what's i mean oh. apart from the weight i mean how is your life different now than oh. it was last I've- year <clears throat> I've I've learned so much uh, that you know, I'm diabetic, and that's the biggest reason I went on this. Well, of course, to lose weight, but part of diabetic having diabetes is to lose weight. Yeah, your blood numbers come down, your sugar numbers come down automatically. Yeah, and uh, that's been occurring. That's that's the greatest thing to, to come out of this. But my blood pressure. Consistently now has been running 117, 118, 119 over 65, 
and my pulse rate is down from the high 90s to 70s, mm. high, mid 80s, low 80s. Mm-hmm. Um, what so was your my, blood pressure before you started? One forty over seventy five mm-hmm. eighty one mm-hmm. one forty over eighty. Yeah, that's a big difference. One. Yeah. And so I'm on Crividerol twice a day, and my cardiologist told me that coming up in May, probably, if my numbers continue where they are, she'll she'll cut that in half. Okay. And then by by our July date, or well, no, it wouldn't be July. It would be by uh, end of year, uh-huh. Christmas time. We may go off completely. All right. And um, same with the metformin. I I okay. may go off metformin by the end of the year. Uh huh. So your A one C has been dropping. Five point one. Wow. Is non diabetic. Yeah, five point one is non diabetic, and is that what you are right now? But yeah, but. That's with medication, so you, okay. it, it, it's like you can't really say that yet. That's true, but what was it on? What What was it before you started eating this way when you were on medication? Seven point nine. Well, you know, all right. We're not going to get too crazy excited, but it's going in the right direction. Absolutely. Well, when, when I was diagnosed, it was eleven point five six seven. Okay, so what were you eating before? What was your diet like? What was your life like before before all of this? Chicken and vegetables, mm-hmm. and I thought I was doing a good thing, and and mm-hmm. yeah, I, I'm probably better than I could have been. Mm-hmm. Um, there but, could, you could have been just chicken with no veggies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got part of it right. <laughs> Thank God I like vegetables. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we. My wife has been real supportive in all this, uh-huh. and so she put up with that. She. Uh, goes down to San Diego area to visit her daughter about once a month. And when they go down there out of sight, out of mind, she, she cheats, <laughs> but, but she, she put up with me. <laughs> it's usually the other and, way around. It's usually the guy who's off cheating while the, while the yeah. woman is like being really strict. <laughs> we always, we never ate bad, but we ate what we wanted. Mm-hmm. And I think I, in one of my emails to you, I said, we, you know, we've we've literally cut our food budget from two grand a month to three hundred, <laughs> four hundred. Yeah, serious, serious. Yeah, I, mean, I believe it. Um, you know, if I wanted steak, it was always a, a one pound ribeye or or more, mm-hmm. and about that thick. Mm-hmm. And um, we we didn't think anything of it. Then when I was diagnosed, we we cut back. We started eating more veggies and, like I said, chicken or fish. Mm-hmm. I do miss salmon. Mm-hmm. I, I do miss that. Mm-hmm. But that's the only craving I really had. Yeah, so I was going to ask you about that. So you you were, you know, I mean, you were eating so much differently before you started this. So how, I mean, were you nervous to start this? You were really motivated because you had to, right? I mean, that was, you didn't have any options. I was motivated and petrified. Now, that's a combination. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, one is going to balance the other out, you know. It's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, the snacking. I think we we never were snackers per se. Mm-hmm. Um, so that wasn't hard to break. There wasn't anything to break. Um, I, I I made this transition. A lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. It just. It, but then again, I'm gonna I'm gonna pat you on the back, and I gotta be. I'll tell all your customers out there that the food is magnificent. That green bee casserole this week with mushrooms and everything, I would put that up for Thanksgiving dinner at anybody's <laughs> house. That was that was perfect. It was wonderful. Yeah. And. Uh, I used to make green bean casserole every Thanksgiving for the family and mushrooms and onions and green beans and bacon, lots <laughs> of bacon. And everybody loved it. But I, didn't miss, I didn't miss the bacon. I mean, it, it was green beans and onions and mushrooms, mushrooms. and gravy yeah. and 
It was wonderful. It was great. Yeah. We ate it with great relish. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. And I have to give props to Tammy and Jen who help with all of these and, and the three of us combined. We, you know, cause here's the thing. It, you can't, if the food has to taste good. And I always say that, like, you can't, I can't expect people to go from eating, you know, chicken and, and fish and, and more standard American food to eating, you know, just, veggies that don't have any seasonings or things that aren't exciting and things that are boring or else it's not going to last and it's not going to stick. So the food has to taste good. So it's good that you found us right off the bat because you eliminated that whole process of, you know, tasting a bunch of food that just wasn't doing anything for you. I make, um, yeah, you're absolutely right. And because of what I've learned batching with, with your food, I, on Sundays I will batch for me for the week. Mm -hmm. She kind of gets whatever she wants. I make her oatmeal every morning. I was eating oatmeal, but I've kind of cut that out, and I've gone to what I call my cowboy caviar. Okay, what's that? I want to hear all about that. Black eyed peas. (laughs) Okay. uh, Black beans. Uh Uh-huh. White beans. uh, Quinoa. And then I put corn and peas and whatever else I want. Uh-huh. And and just I eat that all week. Just I go to the fridge and eat a small amount three, four times a day. So that's a staple that, that you just have in the yeah. fridge and you just eat it cold or do you heat it up? Either way. Yeah. Sriracha, sriracha sauce, mm-hmm. sun, sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. For some crunch. Roasted. Yep. Nice. Uh, nice. And, uh, I like it. I, I change the flavor, but the base is still there. Yeah. But I don't eat very much. Uh-huh. Because there again. You know, it tastes great. I could eat five pounds of it, but you <laughs> can't do that. Well, it's still, like, regardless of what you're eating, if you're eating, you know, far more calories than you're burning, you're not going to lose weight. So, yes, I mean, I, I think generally you don't have to worry, you know, as much, obviously, when you eat this way. But there's still, like, there's a limit to that. But I like, I love your cowboy caviar. I think that's fantastic. Um, So I get the sense that you, you so you're cooking these plans. And, and, yeah. and your wife is, is kind of helping or eating eating a it's an absolute team effort it's she, a team effort we okay eat, we, we eat only your food for dinner mm-hmm. all week long and when we batch I, i've sent you photographs that karen has them anyway did you see yes we, yes. we set up a table in yep. the family room and she does all her thing and what she makes me now is i don't know if you can see this uh-huh it's a cut sheet okay it's, yes it's your, your do me first uh-huh. and she sits down and goes through every one of these and puts a number of, of the batch number one huh. two three four five six seven whatever. So when I sat at, when I stand at my cutting table, I I know which one. I go all my ones, all my twos, <laughs> and so I, I put them it. in little little baggies or cups. Yep. So that everything's ready when she gets ready with the marinade or the seasonings or something for one. At one point this last Saturday, we had three complete batches going at one time and simultaneously, and they all came out and were, were done at the same time, and we were already on the, the next three, I think. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's, out, like a, it's like a well-oiled hours. machine. Yeah. Perfect. I love and that. What, what was taken four and five hours is now taken two See, two and a half. Yes. I'm so glad that you said that. That's so perfect, because I was going to ask about that, like, as far as the plans getting easier, because people who are brand new, sometimes their first one, they feel so like oh, d- disappointed because they spent so daunting. long in the kitchen, but it gets easier, right? It, Tell everybody it gets easier. <laughs> it is daunting at first. And yeah, everybody has to find their own thing, but you cannot do this serially or sequentially. You can't do one yeah. and then start two and then three. You got to have, things going on at one time yeah or else it's going to take all day i mean and that's why we we um when we come up with the batching list like we decide the order based on okay they're going to put this in the instant pot and when this is in the instant pot they can put this in the oven so when this is cooking you do this dressing so you know there's strategy behind that because you want to have at least three things going at once because you're right if you did one thing it would take like three days um, but yeah, so that's awesome. I'm really, really glad to hear you say that because it's going to be really encouraging for people out there who do it the first time. And they're like, what the fuck? I just spent, you know, <laughs> six hours in my kitchen and this is not worth it. But here's the thing. People don't get to the trouble that they're in 
by, uh, you know, spending time in their kitchen. This is the thing. When we rely on convenience foods and we shy away from the kitchen, we get unhealthy and we have yeah. to get back into the kitchen. So, You're so right. Yeah. You're so right. And you will. You find your groove and your flow and you have an awesome partner to do it with. So that makes it even easier. She, um, two things. The sales of the delivery to your door box meals, mm -hmm. uh, blue Blue, blue, blue apron, apron. and mm -hmm. you know, uh, all these other ones. The sales have gone crazy. Mm -hmm. So pe people understand that fast food is killing them. It's a fast way to death. Yes, absolutely. And so they're, they're. I think they're, they're ready to go back into the kitchen somewhat, but not six hours on Saturday <laughs> or Sunday. You know. Yeah. So you got to cover, cut it down. Now, and the instant pot. Oh my God. Everybody has to own one of them. I agree 100%. Friday, when we get home, we put the table up. And all the vegetables are washed and everything. And they're laid out uh -huh. for the following morning. She she takes every spice that we're going to need, every everything out of the pantry goes on the table. Mm -hmm. Before we have breakfast on Saturday morning, before we do anything, whatever's going in the instant pot first goes in. Mm -hmm. The beans have soaked overnight, whatever. Mm -hmm. So then we have at least... 50 minutes to an hour with the low, you know, release method. Mm -hmm. And we, we get ready for the day and the instant pot, the first, whatever is coming out is done. Nice. And she's already got the spices, marinade, whatever. And so the first batch actually is a freebie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, we're doing other things and then boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So that just out of the way, done, yeah. finished. Yeah. It's like, it's almost like you're in a restaurant, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And I the food is even better. And it's coming from you. I mean, how cool is that? That you have I mean, yes, you had the plans and yes, you had guidance, but like you've turned around your health. You did that. Yeah. yeah. And and she lost. She didn't even want to she didn't even want to try. It. And oh, I don't know what is it? Uh 30 32 pounds. Uh -huh. I think it's it right uh -huh. now. Well, she, she, all, yeah, I'm sure that she's happy about that. Oh, yeah. And she likes the food. And so yeah. it was like a freebie, even though we both know, her and I, we don't talk about it much, but we both know she needed to lose weight. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So okay. Got it. it that's, that's a, that was a freebie. She tells everybody she's doing it for me. Mm. But so that's a little bonus. I don't, think, bonus. She, I don't little... think she stopped. Yeah. I don't okay. think she stopped. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I hear that so often, and it's usually the case. It's, it's very rare that, that I've experienced that a couple will be on board 100% uh, together. It's usually one or the other that says, okay, we're going to do this. Can you do this with me for a month? Or can you just, do you want to try one week with me? And what happens usually is that once that partner, who may have been even a little resistant, tries the food, does it for a few weeks, feels really good is starting to drop some weight they're like oh well why why would i stop because yeah. there really is no reason <laughs> well and why would you i don't know we're not trying to be cheap here but why would you purposely go and spend 150 dollars at the grocery store when you can spend 50 yeah and use everything that you bought and, and, and yeah nothing goes nothing gets thrown away unless we just can't yeah. finish it all yeah yeah. And okay. So I love this because I, and I, and again, I, well, I just, I love you. I love your wife. I think that you make a great team and I love hearing updates from you. And I really wanted well, to chat with you again, because I think you're fantastic, but I also really love that you're like a dude. You're like this, this guy, this <laughs> dude, and we need more dudes, you know? Yeah, and no. so I, I love getting your perspective. So let, tell me this, like if, if a guy is watching this and, and, and he knows that he needs to make some changes, but he's like, I don't know about this. Is it going to taste good? You know, what would you tell him? I would tell him that it has helped our marriage tremendously. Hmm. When she was still working, she was doing a hundred hours a week. She was an office manager for a huge car dealership. Hmm. And she worked her ass off. I had golf after I retired. I, I I did a lot of things, but not one of them was involving her. <laughs> and so now we have a hobby. 
This is something that we do for each other. Yeah. We spend uh, an afternoon on Friday. We don't have anything on the menu for that night. We've eaten it all. Um, so we go shopping and that uh, that turns out to be a three or four hour thing because we always go out and have a bite to eat somewhere healthy. Mm-hmm. And, um, it, you know, it's healthy. We eat uh, a, a salad somewhere. And, um, and then we come home and we have all day Saturday. It doesn't take all day, but we work together. We yeah. have a thing. And then, frankly, Sunday, we clean house because mm. we make a mess. <laughs> well, it is dirty. I warned you about we, that. We, Fair we, warning. We, we clean everything. <laughs> and uh, we put everything away. We clean it. But the floors and, yeah, I got to I gotta spend a little time on Sunday morning. Yeah. But I... That's my job anyway. I'm off the floor. She does the dishes. I'm off the floors. Love it. Love it. Yeah. So this has brought your this has brought you together. This has helped yeah. your marriage. Really I mean, helped. I I love this because I hear it all the time and it just reaffirms that when you make changes to your diet, you think that you're you're making these changes to lose weight. And what happens is that other areas of your life improve, like your marriage, that you would have never guessed that just changing what you eat ha- would have an effect on. So it's beautiful. I, I yeah, I don't know. I've never been in other couples. I don't know how other couples work or do whatever. But if if a dude out there really cares about his marriage and his and his wife, and she feels the same way, you know, yeah. this is a great way to get closer without taking ballroom dancing <laughs> or joining a bowling league. <laughs> or, or, or you know, other things that you know what I mean. I you know, know what you mean. I, this is no, this is really it. Can it's you know, cooking can be a really intimate thing, and when you're doing it together, and and you're cooking in a way that's actually making you healthier and making you feel better and making you have more self esteem and more confidence, and watching each other go through that, like it's it's wonderful. I can't think of anything more strengthening than that. So I think that that's I love that. I love it, and I'm really happy for you too. Thank I'm you. So happy for you too. Yeah, that's a great advice. And did I tell you we feel better? Okay. Yeah. Tell me about that. We feel better. We, we get up in the morning with more energy. Mm-hmm. Um, they're drinking. Um, I don't drink hardly anything anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe a five ounce little glass. I have a little glass, and frequently I'll have a five ounce glass of wine with dinner, mm-hmm. but not all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, and she she'll have a glass of wine with dinner frequently, mm-hmm. but we we don't we don't put ourselves in the situation where we're socializing with people that are doing a lot of drinking anymore. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and, and we had friends that go out to eat two or three or four times a week and, and eat anything they want. We're not interested in that now. It's yeah. like, why, why would you want to undo all that you've done? You know, so you just don't do it. You don't, you find yourself not putting yourself in situations yeah. that make you blow it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And, and and isn't it true? I mean, I know that it has been for me, but it, you think in the beginning, like, okay, well, I can't have that. I, I can't do that. But it, but it becomes this thing of like, well, I don't want to do that. I naturally yeah. just don't want to do that. And it's this like subtle shift that makes it really sustainable and that makes it a lifestyle change. Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. So what do your friends think about this? I mean, have they asked questions? Have they, I mean, what's what's the feedback from them? We have a pretty much divided field right down the middle. We have <laughs> we have the ones that are think you're out of your fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why would you do this? You know, they I love my food too much. There's mm. no way. Mm. I have a I have a friend who just visited us from Idaho. They winter in Arizona and then summer in Idaho. Mm-hmm. So on their way back up north they uh stopped and uh he's diabetic. And he went on insulin so he could continue to eat the crap that he eats and drink beer and, and this stuff. Mm. So he's willing to, to literally kill himself about 10 or 15 or 20 years early. 
uh, and I don't want to go on insulin. I, I, I want my body to, to heal itself and take care of itself. Yeah. Yeah. So I may have, I may eat like this the rest of my, well, I know I'm going to eat like this the rest <laughs> of my life, but I will have a better, healthier life because of it. That's the other right. half of our friends, we've had our, our good friend, Debbie, she comes over once or twice a week and has really gotten into the food. She joined for a, a month <laughs> and she just doesn't have the time. She's single and works where Jeannie used to work mm, mm-hmm. too many hours a week. Mm-hmm. And um, she just, that's why she comes over here to eat. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> but bless her heart, she has adopted 95% of the lifestyle. Yeah. She goes to uh, like um, uh, Chipotle mm-hmm. Grill mm-hmm. and gets the Sofitas mm-hmm. bowl. Yep. And all spinach with a little tofu and mm-hmm. the taco seasoning. Yeah, I love that. It's, yeah, and we make that at home now. That's mm-hmm. one of our sat- Saturday night. We don't have anything on the menu. I make that nice fr- frequently. Yeah, it's quick and easy and cheap yeah. and yeah, it's good. Yeah, so she'll she'll come over for that quite a frequently. Mm-hmm. But um, two or three other people have made attempts. Uh huh. Fr- frankly, you got to have time. Mm-hmm. And if, yeah, family, you got to put in the time. Unless the whole family wants to get involved, this isn't for two t- two small kids and a husband and wife mm-hmm. that have that have busy lives. Mm-hmm. I don't see how it fits, but well, there's always a way to make it work. But people have to make it a priority, and they have to figure out okay, what what can I do to kind of rearrange things so that I do have those, you know, three hours, how can I ask for help? And, and frankly, when people are just getting started, there's a lot of different ways to do this. And you definitely don't have to get our meal plans to do it. You can find other ways. And I think for people, it's just a matter of like, okay, figuring out what's going to work for them and, and testing things out. And even if people just, you know, go to Chipotle and get that sofrito bowl instead of getting, you know, a pork bowl, like even little things <laughs> like that, it makes a difference, you know? So there's no, yeah. there's no one right way to do it. And I think that, oh, that your friends, yeah. how awesome for your friends to have a positive example, um, that you guys have set, you know, and the ones that would prefer to take insulin. Sure. That's, that's their choice. It doesn't make sense for me and it wouldn't be my choice because, I would I would rather feel good. And even when you're on insulin, what a pain. What a pain to have to, it's like, you know, wow, it, it's a lot well, of work. It's almost like amputating your pancreas. I mean, when yeah. you go on insulin, you're telling, okay, my body's not going to do this anymore, so I'm going to do this instead. Yeah. And then don't do anything to, to, to change it or help it. I know. It's getting that's, to that's that a, root cause, you know. That, that's a that, crutch. Yeah, it is. It is. And and uh, man, I, I know people like that, and there's not anything that anybody can do about it. You know, they got to come to that on their own. So I just send those people love and hope that maybe maybe one day they'll get motivated to try something different, and maybe they won't. You know, but but having people out you, like you out there who are doing this, and you know, a couple of years ago, you probably wouldn't have thought that you would be doing this. Yeah, you probably would have laughed at me and said, "Ha, you're so full of it." <laughs> No, well, I wouldn't have done that, but I mean. Well, you're a nice guy. You wouldn't have done that necessarily, but. To each his own. I mean, I thought that I could get by with, I I cut the red meat out, cut the pork and all the other sausage. Oh my God, I love sausages. Any variety, you know. Uh, I could could cut all that out and and just stick to salmon and chicken or other fish um, and and vegetables. Mm Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. Yeah. It, it's just, you, you can't go drive through someplace and get a salmon filet. So you you, rec- you reconcile or you cheat, mm-hmm. if you will. So you're eating crap for breakfast and you're eating crap for lunch. And then at dinner, you're all healthy. Well, you can't do that. Yeah. You, you're, yeah. you're just cheat yourself. Yeah, yeah, it is true. And, and I think it's a lot easier to like just – say, fuck it, and just do this and and not dabble with anything else, you know? Like, because when you cut that stuff out, for me, and, and everybody is a little bit different, but for me, it's always, and I'm kind of all or nothing. I, I have a tendency to go that way. 
But for me, it's just like drinking and smoking. I can't do a little bit of it, so I have to do right. none of it. Like, you know, I it, it's a lot easier to know that I'm eating whole food plant-based and anything else isn't an option because it eliminates right. choices. And I think that, especially right now, we have too many choices and that messes us up. So, Well, the guilt thing for me, mm. you know, I don't want to cheat because I don't, I don't want to feel the guilt. Mm. I don't want to undo how <laughs> all the work I've done to get to where I'm, yeah. I'm starting to, I'm starting to actually look forward to this lifestyle, this type of eating more than, well, we, we went out to dinner with our friends on their way back to Idaho and we went to Olive Garden mm -hmm. and I, I read every word on that menu three or four times before I finally found minestrone soup. Yeah. Now I don't know how they make it. And I'm going to assume it's perfect. It was, you know, <laughs> absolutely perfect for us. <laughs> But how, how bad could it be? Could I do that same thing, by rock? the way. I'm like, I'm just going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pretend that it's fine. It's probably yeah. not, but we'll just, yeah, yeah. But how bad could it be? It, you know? It's probably the best thing on the menu that you could have ordered. It was. And that's the thing. We, you know, it, it, with those instances, you just got to do the best you can and move on. Because it's not, you know, it's it's about the majority, or it's about how you eat the majority of the time. That's what's going to have the long-term effect, so. But, but then I kind of went. Hmm. I was kind of like passing judgment when I saw the pasta come yeah. to my wife's dinner plate. Yeah. Know. After three <laughs> bowls of Tuscany soup, she's got the fettuccine Alfredo <laughs> going. And I passed judgment. I mean, I, mm. I didn't do it. Con I didn't mm -hmm. say anything, but I thought, hmm. So that, you know, that felt like an old, an old man, uh, like a, <laughs> Like my grandfather would do, you know, or something. Well, I, next time I, you do it, you just got to catch yourself and be like, well, what would Molly do? <laughs> I'm going to to Molly and just send her go. love. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, I'm so glad to connect with you again. I'm so glad to chat to you. And you're just, you're just lovely. I love talking with you. And I just hope that you keep on um, updating us and letting us know how you're doing. And I would love to talk to you again in, you know, a year and see how you're okay. doing then. I think we should do this once a year because you're awesome. Okay. Look forward to it. <laughs> so are you. All right. Well, thank you so much. Say hello and to your lovely wife. Tell all your people. Thank you. I all will. Your, all, the, all your employees, your staff, your friends, your loved ones, you're doing a super job, bang uh, up job. Well, I appreciate okay? that love. I feel it. And it keeps us going. So we really, okay. really take that to heart. All right. All right, care. Chris. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye.